a lot of you have been inquiring us about MBBS in Egypt, the admission procedure, the eligibility criteria and the fee structure. This video will be guiding you step by step on all that you require to know. Good afternoon, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Ammar Azimuddin Sayyid. I am a second year student in Faculty of Medicine, Ayn Shams University. I am here on behalf of Association of International Medical Students to guide you step by step on admission procedure. This is a self-help. If you are following our videos, keep following our YouTube and Instagram page. So if you're following us step by step, inshallah, you do not require any other help and you will be able to come and study here independently, inshallah. I am right now in the Faculty of Medicine campus. Behind me, you can see is Building C. We have four buildings in this campus. Uh, we have big classrooms, lecture halls, and the Building C that you see behind has laboratories for our practical needs. Apart from this, we have Damardash Hospital, the Ayn Shams University's government hospital attached to this campus, which is, uh, which is one of the biggest hospital of this country with more than 3,200 beds. The details of the campus and the hospital will be covered in a separate video, inshallah. The course here is for five years and then two years internship, which is not compulsory for international students by the university. The details of this course and all we have covered in the FAQ section. Moving on to the fee structure, well, uh, each year a student requires to pay $6,000 annually, which is split into two parts, $3,000 per semester. Only in the beginning, when you take admission, additional $1,500 is paid. Now let's talk about the living in Egypt. Ayn Shams University provides its hostel, uh, separate for boys and girls. It has the monthly fees of 3,200 Egypt, 200 Egyptian pounds, which includes almost all the facilities together. However, many students prefer to live in, an, in a rented apartment outside. Whether you are living in a hostel or outside, the estimated cost that we have made from our, uh, from our surveys is from 6,000 Egyptian pound to 10,000 Egyptian pound monthly. Okay, so now let's talk about the admission procedure and the eligibility to study medicine here. First of all, you require to understand that Egyptian government has made a centralized system uh, by the Ministry of Higher Education for international students specifically by the name Wafidin. So this Wafidin department, it handles the admission procedure of all the international students and this has been so far. However, we are expecting that there will be some changes in the system uh, later on. Whatever changes happen, we will be here to update you inshallah time and again. Coming back to the topic, now when you are applying for admission, there is no fixed time as to when application opens. We all keep waiting for the update from the ministry from Wafidin on their own on their website, the details of which you will find along with our video. Um, this admission procedure while applying, you require three documents. One is your passport, the other are your mark sheets, which you studied from, uh, if you are from in India, for example, you require 10th and 12th mark sheet. And so maybe in your own country, secondary or higher secondary education, whatever name you have. For the eligibility criteria, universities here, they are not dependent on the exam, on the medical entrance exam of your countries. However, they are focused on the secondary and the higher secondary mark sheet results, 10th and 12th if you are from India. So the aggregation that they calculate, first of all, you rec they select eight subjects while you are applying for your admission. When you go on the website, you have to select eight subjects. Out of these eight subjects, uh, the aggregation marks that you require to be eligible is 75%. If you are scoring lesser than 75% in the best eight subjects that you have considered from both secondary and higher secondary education, you will not be able to study here. Second criteria along with this is that in these eight subjects, you are supposed to consider physics, chemistry, biology, maths and English. Maths need not be taken in your 12th grade or higher secondary grade. It is not essential. It can be taken in your 10th standard 2 or secondary education as well. But these five subjects, you require to have minimum of 50% marks to be eligible. 
this is all based on the criteria so far in our experience that we have been working from three years and alhamdulillah we have helped more than 140 students in the last year itself in taking admission through us. This criteria keep changing and we are here to update you time and again and so that's why once again we request you to keep following the update to get the correct information timely. Now let's talk about the steps in the admission procedure after your documents are ready. Uh, we have for your ease of understanding divided the entire phase into three parts. One is the online application phase which shall begin very soon in July August month we are expecting. However, there are changes with time. The second is the pre-travel phase after you, your application is accepted online and the third is the post-travel phase. In your online application phase, as we mentioned already that you require soft copy of your passport and your mark sheets to upload on the website and you make a payment. The payment is directly made on the website or on the bank account of the Wafidin, the Ministry of Higher Education. After this phase is over, your application is accepted, preliminary accepted, then you are expected to attest your mark sheet and get it stamped by the Ministry of uh, Higher Education plus the Egyptian Embassy in your country. You have to get your 10th and 12th or secondary or higher secondary mark sheets stamped and attested by these two places. Uh, this is needed uh, to be done before you travel and you will be traveling to the country inshallah once your application is accepted on usually on the on tourist visa taking all your documents together after coming here you will be submitting these documents in the office in the ministry of higher education office wafidin office or the ain shams university or or your specific university uh, department as they change or as they inform us because these things have some or the other official changes happening every year um, after your application is submitted here, then there are some other steps to be followed which we will be covering in separate videos. We will be covering how to apply and fill your online application in a separate video and we will be covering how and what you are supposed to be doing after coming to Egypt in a separate video inshallah.